Hi students, in this video we are going to see the pharyngeal arches. Pharyngeal arches is nothing but from this arches only entire the facial skeleton, head and neck area, everything is getting developed. And here you can see nicely the bulges. These are all called arches. Initially you will be having six arches. The fifth arch disappears, right? So each arch it has its own uh, nerves, nerve, blood vessel, and a cartilage. From this only all your bony skeleton is getting formed, and the ligaments are getting formed. On your muscles are derived, right? This is about the arch. So we are going to see each arch. What are the derivatives? So first arch, look at this picture, it is a lovely picture from the before we are born book by Keith Elmore and keep this picture in your memory chip, right. So first arch, you have the cartilage, so we are going to talk about the cartilage first. The cartilage of the first arch, this entire thing is cartilage, the dorsal end of the cartilage will be transformed into um, the middle section, the dorsal end of the cartilage will be transformed into malleus and incus, these are the ear ossicles and the middle portion of the cartilage, it gets degenerated, regressed and uh, only the pericondyle of the cartilage, it is the outer covering of the cartilage will be remaining, that will be transformed into anterior ligament of malleus and the sphenomandibular ligament and the ventral part of the cartilage will be remaining and it will be forming the future mandible. Understood? So, this cartilage is called as Meckel's cartilage. So, three derivatives, dorsal end, ossified and becomes a bone, middle end degenerates and forms two ligaments and the distal end, ventral end will be transformed into future mandible. Okay, these are the derivatives from the cartilage and the nerve is first arch, so it is mandibular arch, the nerve is trigeminal nerve, so it supplies the muscles. So, what are the muscles of mastication? Mm, temporalis, masseter, lateral pterygoid, media pterygoid. Along with the muscles of mastication, you will be getting anterior belly of digastric starts from here, that is one, then mylohyoid muscle and uh, tensor valley palate and tensor tympani. These are the muscles for the first arch. So, next is we are moving to the second arch. Second arch will show same thing. Here, the entire thing is cartilage. The cartilage will be transformed into stapes and styloid process, and the middle portion will be transformed. Degenerated cartilage will be transformed into stylohyoid ligament, and the distal portion, the ventral portion, will be transformed into lesser corner of the hyoid bone. And then we will move on to the then now what about the muscles? I said first arch is a mandibular arch, second arch is the hyoid arch since the hyoid bone is here and uh, the nerve of the second arch is your facial nerve and the blood vessel is first arch maxillary artery and second arch you will be having the stapedial artery. Then muscles of mastication, muscles of facial expression is getting developed from here since the nerve is facial nerve and along with that you have posterior belly of digastric, stylohyoid and stapedius that thing you have to add for the muscles. Okay? Now third, third you can see the different color, third is arch, it forms the greater cornu and the body of the hyoid bone and here is the nerve, glossopharyngeal nerve and uh, arteries common carotid, internal carotid and external carotid arteries and the uh, muscle is tylopharyngeus and then we will go move on to the fourth and the sixth arch, fourth arch you have the thyroid cartilage and the sixth uh, cricard cartilage, so these are the cartilages of larynx in some books. The thyroid cartilage and the epiglottis are derived from the uh, neural crest cells and the cricard cartilage is derived from the mesoderm. So this is for the PGs, for UGs you can write 4th and 6th arch is giving the laryngeal cartilages, thyroid and cricard cartilages. So this is about the and what about nerve supply, glossopharyngeal we left here. So next nerve is the vagus nerve. So 4th arch you have the superior laryngeal nerve and the 6th arch you have the recurrent laryngeal nerve. So, just this tablet column you have to make okay, for the uh, theory purpose. So, mandibular arch, hyoid arch, third and fourth, sixth arch, trigeminal nerve you know and the muscles of mastication everything we saw, malleus incus skeletal structure and the ligaments anterior ligament of malleus and sphenomandibular and the second arch also we said everything and the third arch and fourth arch we have enumerated all the muscles recurrent laryngeal nerve muscles and the laryngeal muscles and the pharyngeal muscles you have to mention here and then here all the cartilages of larynx. Understood this? What is the clinical anatomy you are supposed to write? So the clinical anatomy for the first arches, look at this, that is the first arch clinical embryology is treacher collins syndrome. treacher collins syndrome is mandibulofacial disostosis. Uh, it means the neural crest cells, they, ha they are responsible for the craniofacial skeleton development. 
so if there is uh, neurocal cells migration problem uh, in some areas especially near the zygomatic area that may lead to malar hyperplasia malar means zygomatic area so malar hyperplasia and peri robinson robin syndrome also same thing they are uh, the migration of the failure of migration near the mandible so the hyperplasia of the mandible happens along with the cleft palate and defects in the eye and ear so in uh, theory you have to write about clinical embryology also for the first starch treacher collins syndrome and Pierre Robin syndrome. So, these two are very important uh, about the pharyngeal arches.